Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple point-to-point -point wireless network. So if you have two locations that you want to connect together, so a point-to-point -point network would be ideal for that. So location A is going to be our main location. So I'm going to configure that location first. So head on to your router or access point because you can use either um, to do this as long as there's a wireless connection on it and we're going to go to WLAN and ensure that advanced mode is, is, is selected because there are additional fields that will be displayed we're going to ch first thing we're going to do is we're going to leave everything as is so the mode should be AP bridge the SSID, we're going to change that. The wireless protocol, we're going to use NV2. And NV2 is a wireless protocol that was developed by Microtik. And they said that this protocol provides a speed increase, increase in, in, in throughput. It allow more... Um, client connections, it offer lower latency and, and, and so forth. So this is the one that we'll be using. Uh, the next thing that you need to change is your country. So ensure that whatever country you're using, you're using are the same on both access points or router. I'm going to apply that settings. Okay. Open back the wireless um, LAN and now you see a tab that says NV2 so we're going to enable security and we're going to type um, the pass key or we call pre-shared key which is a, really the password that, it, that the connection will use similar to like a regular wireless connection where you put in a, a password that is what we're going to do here so we're going to put in a password and then apply okay so we have we have configured SSID we have set the protocol we have set the country and uh, so that's it for the for location one so we have just configured location one now we're going to configure the next router now to be location 2 or we call location B alright so I'm going to head over to the other router now and so there's a number of things that we need to do first so this router has the default settings everything is default uh, so what I'm going to what you need to do first is to disable the DHCP service on this so you can disable it I would recommend removing it just to ensure that it is not accidentally enabled because that will create a lot of problems all right so after doing that we're going to go head over to bridge and we're going to add the one port that is ethernet one we're going to add it to the to the bridge so by doing this what will happen is that all the ports on this router will now be in the bridge and when it is connected to when it is connected to to location A it will get the IP addresses uh, from location A on these ports so any client that is connected on any of these ports will get an IP address from location A I'm going to now head over to the wireless settings so in WLAN 1 we're going to change this to be station bridge we're going to put a SS, the SSID should be the same for both the protocol should be the same NV2 the country should be the same apply okay 
open it back you see nv2 tab comes up click on that security and you're going to type back the same security the same password that you had enter on the first location you're going to click apply click ok the next thing that you're going to do now is to set up the DHCP client DHCP client now is going to be on I'm going to change this I'm going to set it to the bridge so the DHCP will the client now will be set to the bridge so when an IP address is received from location A that IP address will be assigned to the bridge that means all the ports will get it so look at it now you're seeing where the IP address has been assigned so just like that we have seen where the two sites are now connected so if we head over to location A and in the wireless we look at uh, registration that shows that the shows which device is connected you see in where uh, this access point is connected you can head over to the CP server and look at the leases and you'll see you'll see the device that is connected so this is how you would go about creating a, a simple point-to-point -point network there are a bit more advanced features or other things that you can do with this like point to multi points um, WDS and and so much more but I'm just keeping it simple for persons who just want to set up a basic connections between two locations so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also leave a comment if you need to and that's it and thanks for watching.